the first thing is this uh, it's just that you get to experience three top three campuses the people there uh one like major takeaway would be uh you learn how to uh pack and travel in in like two three days <laughs> like the semester gets over and the next day you'll go to the next semester next campus and that is a it's, it's a such a good experience so at least for that to experience three campuses meet people uh from all three campuses network every everywhere i think that's one major takeaway i would say to people who are trying for pgdb if anyone has prepared for cat seriously then they won't find the verbal ability and dil sections very uh, challenging rather i would say uh, here you will find that uh, while in cat you have to focus on question selection and speed here you will have enough time to go through all the questions maybe even twice so you need to focus more on the accuracy part of it let us start uh, with the first question which i would want to ask is what exactly is pgdb so basically pgdb is a course that is offered by tri institute so it's a unique of its kind and basically three different institutes uh, pioneer in their own field like iit kharagpur isi and iim kolkata collaborate together to make this whole course so it's a different course because un- unlike other pgp programs it more focuses on one particular domain that is your business analytics as the name says post graduate diploma in business analytics and what makes it different from others other than being uh, offered by three different colleges is that like in pgp we have two months of internship program and that is in the very beginning of the course while in pgdb we have six months of internship program that is part of our curriculum as well and it is like scheduled after when you are studied for three semesters then you are and then you go for the industry and get some and so on experience about it and it is highly kind of a mathematical oriented course so what is the eligibility criteria right? like and uh, is it like it, it is only for engineers and how do you prepare for the exam for the eligibility criteria it's like 10 plus 2 plus 4 like your any btech degree or 10 plus 2 plus 5 your btech plus mtech dual degree or it's 10 plus 3 plus 3 like your msc or uh, similar kind of courses other than that to prepare uh, the exam pattern is very similar to cat we have verbal ability we have 50 questions and 3 hours there is one section on verbal ability then d- logical reasoning and data interpretation and then the quant section in quant section it focuses more on probability and statistic and calculus uh, whereas cat focuses more on your algebraic problems so to prepare for pgdb people have to pay extra attention to those parts especially the calculus and probability and statistics part if and it won't take much of the effort it just the basic 11 12 level maths would suffice so that's how should, that's how they should go about it as you said that uh, it's basically for 10 plus 2 plus 4 or 5 so uh, uh, is it necessary that the person has to be a science student no it's not necessary you can be from like any background Currently, in our batch, we have one student from pharma background and one student who has done his MSc in maths. So, uh, what is the batch size and diversity like? If you can tell a bit more about it. So, our batch size currently yeah. is of sixty students, and we have both freshers and work, people with work ex, and we also have like five in the batch of sixty. We are five girls there, and from the non-engineering background, we have two people there. So that's about the diversity in our batch. Can you tell a bit about the career opportunities at PGDB? So basically, uh, after this particular course, we have uh, like uh, job offered to us are mostly into the analytical field, analytics field. Uh, the, even if I talk about my seniors, the role offered to them are for uh, business analyst, data analyst, data engineer, ML engineer, and especially like some in AI based roles. And some company offers in product. base roles as well product analytics uh, as well as some program manager product manager roles plus some companies especially in the field of finance they give the role for finance analyst or uh, some some research analyst as well so these are more tech- okay. kind of a technology based kind of a roles that being offered after this course got it uh, and anything you would want to share about the placement statistics 
Yes, so regarding the placements, what we have been seeing is uh, for the previous uh, previous placements that happened for the batch six, we are currently batch eight. So we observed that the average was around twenty nine point seven lakhs LPA, and the median was also very close. It was around twenty eight LPA. And what we have seen is that for the previous uh, three or four batches, the trend has been of a it has been an increasing trend. So we expect that by the time our seniors go for their placements, the batch seven, we expect that these numbers would definitely rise. And what we have also seen is uh, for all the years, there have been 100% placements except for those candidates who opted out of two. Uh, and any uh, recruiters which you would want to share uh, the names of any major recruiters? Top recruiters, uh, like you can even see in the website, I think. Uh, uh, it, they, uh, it, it includes uh, DSHA, MasterCard, um, BCG, PWC, etc. Like all the big names. What exactly is the admission timeline and uh, when are the forms going to be released? The forms are already released. They're released on 25th of January and they'll be open till 24th of February. So the form process is pretty simple. You have to go online, register there and then apply for fill the form. The form fees is 2500 and uh, the co there on the website you'll also find the syllabus so, uh, so as what will come in the exam and uh, what are the further rounds of after it or uh, do you have a personal interview so basically after uh, uh, getting shortlisted after the written exam they call for an interview so basically they call for around 400 to 500 people for the 60 seats and it goes till i guess from three days in our case it was for three days and for 10 different panels so it goes in the three and uh, and PI, PI is a major part because it takes around 40% of the weightage of overall score. So it plays a very crucial part in the selection. To add to it, uh, the tentative dates which are announced in the website are like uh, the test is on 26th March and uh, you will get the like in intimation for interviews are, are around mid-April and interviews would begin from May 1st week or so. Those are the tentative dates. Since all of you appeared for the exam uh, last year, so can you share some tips which helped you uh, in cracking the exam? I have given exam twice. Uh, I prepared for the last year itself and I was uh, uh, kind of in wait list and for the, this last year I was able to convert. So basically uh, for the written part, if you are preparing for the CAT, so LRDI and verbal part will not be an issue for you. Major focus you have to pay on your quad part because it is kind of totally different from the what you prepare for the CAT. Because CAT majorly focus, as Ayushi has already said, it is majorly focused on the algebraic part and the basic calculations and all. While the PGDBA mathematics part focuses more on a G means level, if I say. Not more than that, but kind of some questions comes to that level itself. So you have to go follow your 11-12 uh, study mathematics, like calculus, coordinate geometry, and uh, all your algebra and, and other trigonometry itself part. So it will come into the uh, syllabus. And total 25 questions they ask. And uh, basically, if you can skim through the papers of the previous years, you will be able to find out what uh, weightage each particular section, each particular uh, topic of the mathematics is carrying in the uh, final paper. So you can uh, prepare through it. If for preparation, I'll say, uh, as Manwinder put it, uh, for the verbal ability DI and LR section, there are uh, 25 questions and uh, for maths, there are uh, again 25 questions. So uh, if anyone has prepared for CAT seriously, then they won't find the verbal ability and DI and LR sections very uh, challenging. Rather, I would say uh, here you will find that uh, while in CAT, you have to focus on question selection and speed. Hey, you'll have enough time to go through all the questions, maybe even twice. So you need to focus more on the accuracy part of it. Plus, uh, for mathematics, uh, same as Manindra put it, that uh, uh, mathematics will mainly be focused on uh, the 11th and 12th part of uh, what we study. So the level of, level of mathematics in PGDBA would be somewhere in between your uh, 12th board and JE mains. So if anyone is uh, studying it for the first time, my advice to them would be to pick up the NCRT of class 11th and 12th and go through the questions there. And if you have prepared for JE uh, earlier, then I think the, your JE study material should be sufficient for this.
one thing that helped me is, helped me is giving online quizzes like mock tests and also the previous year question paper and giving it seriously like put your time three hours and then give it in the in that exam setting and try to give it in the time slot that you have for your exam so if you do it like that you will be mentally prepared for it and it kind of helped me like uh, what questions to focus on, what parts I am weak and where I should focus like my remaining time on. So it actually helped me improve my scores. All of you have spent so much time on campus and with the course. Uh, what has your experience been like? And uh, like uh, to the viewers watching, what would you suggest that why should they consider this course? The first thing is this, uh, it's just that you get to experience three top three campuses, the people there. Uh, one like major takeaway would be uh, you learn how to uh, pack and travel in, in like two, three days. <laughs> like the semester gets over and the next day you'll go to the next semester, next campus. And that is, a, it, it's a, such a good experience. So at least for that, to experience three campuses, meet people uh, from all three campuses, network every, everywhere. I think that's one major takeaway I would say to people who are trying for PGDB. This course starts with the pre-semester part that is of uh, of one month and it takes place in the IIM campus of Kolkata. So basically uh, that part is of one month is you, this is the uh, time with, with which you spend with your seniors because after that you will not get much time like because every uh, each and every time they will be going uh, you will be in the different campuses or your seniors will be in uh, for the final semester uh, internship period and you will be in the different colleges. So th that's the time of uh, like a relationship building with your seniors. Other than, and a part of the studies in that pre-semester part, it is kind of a chill and you can just relax, focus more on uh, uh, connection with the batch. The seniors know each other more. After one month, when the pre-semester is over, you will be packing your stuff to move into ISI. And ISI is a very different college altogether. They have very different style of teaching, basic to your uh, uh, undergrad part in which uh, the teacher used to take the blackboard and all solve each question and teach each and every topic. So atmosphere is altogether very different in the ISI. But like this, but this is what makes the PGDBA program more experience rich, I would say, uh, because you experience a lot in the course of four semesters, uh, unlike other programs. For the interview stage, uh, is it like other B schools or is there something different that the panelists focus more on during the interviews? The interviews of PGTBA here consists of three panelists, one from each institute, ISI, IIT and uh, IIM. And uh, what you will find different here will be, uh, uh, apart from all the regular things like your uh, ba uh, education background, your work experience, uh, that questions you expect everywhere, uh, here you would expect that a little bit of uh, mathematics would also be asked. So basically, since the course does have a little bit of mathematical inclination, they just want to check that uh, is the candidate uh, really interested in mathematics or not. It's not as if they are really going to ask you anything tough or uh, really out of the box. Uh, the things will be, uh, questions will be very simple and the interviews will even assist you uh, in coming to the solution. And uh, it's not as if they want the correct answer, they want to see your approach. Panelists are very, uh, very supportive and uh, like, but you have to show your interest why you are like different in terms of the other things uh, with the other people who are competing for it. So as my friends put it, the interviewers would just like to see if you are if you have some inclination towards math and not that you give the exact solution. So from my uh, experience, my interview was also very chill. They were asking basic questions like uh, from set theory, like what is power set, super set, etc. So it was, it went very uh, smooth for me as well. So to prepare, uh, I would say, uh, go through like all the math subjects in your that you might have seen like you'll prepare for entrance test anyway so you'll have your uh, je math prepared and also may just go through the subjects that you had in your ug so because they might ask you because you come across it so as they've already said just show your uh, approach and the thought process how you are thinking about the solution so that's what they would expect so they asked a few set theory questions and they gave a little puzzle to solve and uh, it, it's not stressful uh, at all so uh thank you so much for coming for the session and i'm sure for everyone who was considering applying to the course and had doubts uh, most of them would have been cleared by the session 
uh the link to the form i'll attach in the description so anyone interested please have it uh, at the website and uh, you can reach out to them on linkedin if you have any doubts so uh thank you so much for joining